right, so I wanted to address something with the new update to uh, DCS, well, new, five days ago, I'm a little late here. Uh, one of the things that was added to the F-16 is this right here, and I've had a few questions about this, some people that have run into this and uh, could not figure out how to clear this warning. So right now I've got a stores config light down here, and I've got the master caution. Now you can clear the master caution by just pressing the button, but you're going to get this uh, stores config light, and it's just going to sit there. Now how do you clear this? Well, what this means is you've got a Cat 3 loadout, but you're not in Cat 3 stores config. So to clear this, real simple, come over here on the left side, and click this stores config switch, put it down to Cat 3. Once you go to there, it's cleared out. Right? So you can go to Cat 1, Got the master caution, stores config light down here, cat three, they turn off. Now, you're only gonna see this when you've got a really heavy loadout, an air to ground loadout, three bags, things like that, right? Like I do right now, I've got two wing bags and a center line, I've got uh, you know, a full, cla full cap loadout. If I had a full cap loadout and I take my bags off, I can go to category one and I'm not gonna get these lights. So here, we'll show that. I'm going and we'll take these uh, these bags off. Remove payload. Remove payload. Rearming complete. All right, so now I've got all my fuel tanks unloaded. Just got a full cap loadout, and I am in Cat One, and I don't have a master caution. All right, I'm gonna load it up. Rearming complete. All right, and now I've got three bags. And I've got a master caution and a stores config light because I'm in cat one still. So I cat three, light goes out. All right, so that's how you clear that. So basically, if you've got no external tanks on and you've got a cap loadout, then you're fine. Just missiles, you're fine. If you've got bombs on or tanks on the wings or anything like that, you're going to need to be in cat three, uh, and that'll clear the, the warning down here. Now what does this do? So for those of you who care, uh, the rest of you can click off the video now if you were just trying to clear the warning. Uh, but for those of you who care, Cat 1 and Cat 3, all this does is it changes the gains on the Flickus. So in Cat 1, if you're going to be doing a demo at an air show or something like that, it's going to be Cat 1. Uh, air to air loadout, no bags, no fuel tanks, no external stores, just missiles, Cat 1. If you've got three bags, you've got bombs, you've got rockets, you've got Mavs, everything you can load on that thing, you're going to air to ground, or you're doing a cap loadout like this and you've got three bags on it, uh, and you're heavy, you need Cat 3. And Cat 3, what this does is it, it, it lowers everything, basically. It limits your AOA uh, significantly more than it already does in Cat 1. In Cat 3, your roll rate, specifically your roll rate, I think that's actually the biggest one, uh, is reduced by 40%, if I remember right, and then it also uh, reduces the max deflection of uh, yaw as well. So everything is reduced significantly in Cat 3, and it's just to prevent you from departing flight. When you're a lot heavier, jet's more unstable, uh, it's easier to depart flight. Put it in Cat 3, a little harder for you as the pilot to depart flight. It's still going to be on you, the pilot, to prevent the jet from over g because contrary to popular belief, especially in the comment section of some of my videos, I've had people uh, comment that the flickus in the F-16 will prevent an over -G, and this is just simply 100% incorrect, not true, false. Uh, this right here does not prevent an over-G. This right here just limits o AOA, roll rate, yaw, all that stuff. That's all this does. Depending on how your store's config is, uh, changes the flickus uh, uh, maximums and gains. That's all it does. Preventing over-G is just, that's, that's not what it does. It attempts to prevent it, but as someone who has performed countless over-G inspections in real life on real F-16s, I've seen it firsthand, I've seen cracked wing spars, I've seen the damaged targeting pod. Uh, it is most definitely not capable of preventing an over -G. An over -G is still very easy to do. We had it happen countless times while I was in the Air Force. And depending on how bad the over -G is, I mean, how long they kept it above 9 Gs uh, while in a Cat 1 config, or above 5.5 or 6 Gs uh, in a Cat 3. I've had a 7 G Cat 3. <laughs> I had a... I want to say a 10.5 uh, 
over G uh, and Cat 1. Uh, I want to say we even, I thought I remember someone saying, not me, I have not seen this, but I thought I remember someone, uh, one of the other crew chiefs I know, say they saw uh, an 11G. But yeah, Flickus, the idea that the Flickus prevents over G's is just ridiculous. It's not true. And I, I don't know where people are getting that, but that's incorrect. So just keep that in mind. It's still on you, uh, the pilot, to prevent your jet from over G'ing. In DCS, you can actually rip the wings off if you go crazy. Even in Cat 3, uh, you can do this. So, uh, and I show that off in my over G damage video. Uh, they added damage to the F-16 when you over G, and I think really all they did was was uh, the wings getting ripped off. I don't know if they've modeled anything else. I've done a few flights where I have definitely, under real life standards, over G'd uh, the targeting pod. I've over G'd. Uh, the wings to, to real life standards, not in DCS, and I didn't notice any damage to anything in the weapon systems or anything like that. But I know if the, if you get up to like you know close to nine with a Cat three loadout in DCS, you can actually uh, rip the wings off. So keep an eye out for that. Hey, seven four two. Actually worked on that jet in real life. So I hope this helps uh, those of you who've been trying to clear that warning and. Uh, See you guys in the next one.